Welcome, my little minties, to Cyber Mince's Doll's House Den. Today, I want to make a tree for a little doll's house garden that I plan on doing. So, I was going to that certain shop that sells everything for a pound, and what did I find? This little thing called an Easter tree. Not content with having Christmas trees, we now have to have Easter trees as well. But I was thinking, what beautiful shapes, what lovely loveliness. With a bit of acrylic paint and a bit of glitter and a bit of PVA glue, I'm going to make this into a beautiful birch tree to go beside my garage doll's house to make a beautiful, possibly winter garden, because then I don't have to buy so many flowers. So it's now out of its packaging, used the scissors to snip the ribbon. I'll probably keep this material, put it in my fabric box. This can go in my fabric box. Scissors back into my sewing kit. Seems to be some uh, cement or concrete on the base of it, so that's really good, because I'll put some fake clay around that and build that up. So I've chosen my colours. I've got a raw umber, I've got a grey, I've got a fawn colour, I've got metallic silver, I've got some PVA glue because I want the glue to really stick to the tree. Also got a little rubbish bag here for all the bits and pieces because I like to work tidily. Also kitchen roll because I tend to work clumsily. I've mixed up my paints and I want to get a nice and streaky because this is going to be a birch and it's not all the same colour. And what I'm doing is almost putting them on dry, just sort of slapping the tree. A lot of the glitter is going to shine through because this is going to be a beautiful silver birch. There we are. So quite liking how that's going. That's the idea is not to cover the whole tree, but to keep it streaky and to almost flush it on dry. I'm trying to actually get it to go around. The branches wrapping it around because that's the way birch bark would work you've just got to relax with this because you know what's right you know what looks real because we see real life all the time and if it looks real in real life then it looks real in the doll's house um incidentally i had to use a bit of clear all-purpose glue because one of the branches was bending out a little bit too far but i don't think that's going to be a problem so that's as much as i'm going to do with it now I'm not going to overdo it, I'm not going to cover it totally because I want all that lovely sparkle to show through. Maybe a bit more on that twig there because that's it's a little bit more love, doesn't it? There we go, perhaps a bit more there, but I think that is just about finished. And that's going to make a very nice birch tree for my doll's house garden. A bit of doll's house serendipity for you. I was about to make myself a cup of my favourite coffee when I realised the lid turned upside down would make an absolutely beautiful planter just the perfect size for my doll's house tree. While I've got all this paint mixed up rather than waste it I've already got some egg boxes that I'm going to paint up and possibly use for paving or for brickwork or for Lots of other lovely little things. So this is how I'm going to leave things for the day. I'm going to leave the plastic on the bench because everything is still being left to dry. Put away the glues, the paints, paint brushes have been washed and left out to dry. I've opened up the window to get a little bit of airflow even though it's not a particularly nice day outside. So I'm going to leave this for a few hours and pack it all away and perhaps start again tomorrow or later this evening. As you get deeper into the doll's house hobby, you will start to see the world in different ways. I was looking at the garden section of a certain shop that sells everything for a pound. I found this beautiful stuff. It's called slug tape and you put it around your pots to stop the slugs getting at it. But I was thinking how beautiful to have this going around the outside of this container. 